What's going on y'all? It's your boy Cool Colas here and you are now tuning into a new video on my channel. But before we get to the topic, I would love if you liked the video, subscribed, shared, hit the bell icon for notifications, and then also left me a comment below so I can get back to whatever it is that you had to say on this video. For today's topic, I want to define what a simp is, and I also want to define what a pick me is. And then I want to tell you why I believe that being a simp is worse than being a pick me. For those of you all who have been living under a rock and have not been listening to any of the different terms that have been thrown around on social media within the last maybe under a decade, these different terms that I'm talking about right now are things and labels that people create for different people of different sexes. So um, when you hear simp, it's usually used and I'm not considering nuance or context when I say this just yet. When they're talking about a simp, they're talking about a man who typically over caters to a woman and typically they try to make it seem like a pick me is a woman who over caters to a man. Those are the definitions of these things without me adding any nuance, any context or anything that would also show why these two things are actually different. Before we really get on to the topic, I feel the need to bring a few things up. One of the things that I really want to talk about is this idea where People like to think that certain concepts are the same concept, but with a different sex or in some cases, a different race. I see that quite a bit where people try to equate what one race or what one sex would do with the other, but it having the same dynamic. So let me explain what I mean by that. Oftentimes when we talk about white supremacy, there's some group of buttermilk biscuit eating coons who love to go on and on about black power and they essentially call it black supremacy, which just doesn't fucking exist. But let's just talk about them equating being a white supremacist to, to black empowerment. These two things are clearly not the same. The white supremacist system is a system that is all oppressive and is basically a thing where white people who are racist are dominating other people on a basis of race and they are doing that by maldistributing their resources and trying to basically keep them at bay and specifically what i'm talking about in this case are white people trying to keep black people at bay when it comes to black empowerment, it is not the same deal. Black people do not have an all oppressive system that it, that where they can actually oppress white people. And on top of that, too, even if they did have that power, we wouldn't do that because let's be real with all the things that has happened to us over 500 plus years talking about foundational black Americans. We would have every right to want to, you know, basically rage out and knock all them over. And we still haven't done that yet. Matter of fact, we're known as foundational black Americans for loving on our enemies despite all of the fucked up things that they've done to us. With that being said, we have no desire really to just oppress people. We actually have a code and we care about people. Matter of fact, we're the most caring and we're the most loving. And it's very clear like that, that we have basically got the short end of the stick from loving on everyone. Meanwhile, nobody does anything for us. Black empowerment is a reactionary system of us trying to reclaim the pride that we have in ourselves after being oppressed for so long. Whereas white supremacy is a system that oppresses people on a basis of race and maldistributes their resources in order to stay in power. The same thing, and I'm not comparing the two in the idea of the weight of how much it is, how intense it is, because nothing is more serious than the issue of race. But the similar, the way that it's set up is similar when it comes to simps and it comes to the pygmies. A lot of people seem to think that there is just a sex swap, but it's the same concept when that's not actually what's happening. And this is one of the one of the first reasons why I would say that being a simp is actually worse than being a pygmy. So being a simp from what I have seen is a man who allows a woman to 
either be either get away if basically being unaccountable for her terrible actions and excuses it by either rewarding her or defending her or basically trying or without context trying to defend a woman no matter what she does and no matter what she says and a simp essentially over caters to that woman when and many times it it doesn't have to be that much or accountability really is what is needed at, in that case so we don't use simps just to describe a man who caters to a woman or a man who does something nice for a woman or a man who even habitually is nice to women or caters to women we're using that term to describe a group of men who are just doing way too much and sometimes it even turns that woman off at that if we're being honest or a man who is excusing the behavior of women and defending them and showering them with things when really they need to just be held accountable for their actions. A pick me is not the same thing. A pick me is a woman who typically caters to the understanding of a man in the way that the world generally doesn't. And what they also do is they call out the bullshit that other women do. So in other words, pick the, the, the term simp is typically used by a man to describe another man who does um, too much with women and does not give them accountability when they need it. A pick me is a term that's used by women to describe other women when they are typically jealous that that woman is getting picked. One of the reasons why certain women started referring to other women as pick me's is because they basically felt that these women were saying certain things that they believed would get them picked by men, specifically the men who they had issues with. And the women who also would use this term, they have somewhat of a cult. There's somewhat of a cult of rebelliousness where they have some type of issues and baggage and hang ups around their feelings about and relationships with the men that they deal with. And so when other women are not on that same wave and they are understanding and even in some cases they feel siding with the men who they have problems with, they're seen as people who are traitors. So they essentially dogpile on them because they are getting picked by men. That's why I said it's about jealousy, because ultimately one of the reasons why or one of the big reasons why a lot of these women end up the way that they do, where they are rebellious and that type of thing is because they have been let down, hurt or just um, totally been disappointed by a lot of the men in their lives for whatever reason. And so they want other women to basically validate those feelings. So they want them to be a part of that cult of rebelliousness with them. So when other women decide that they are going to affirm some of the uh, feelings of the men who they oppose, then they're casting them out and calling them pick me. So it's a way to use basically feeling some level of empathy with a man's struggles as um, a pejorative to put down this type of woman. Or they see it as this woman is a traitor because she's going against this, again, cult that they've actually created. So essentially, from my perspective, being a so-called pick me is not really all that bad because essentially you're being a woman who most men actually would like, which is a woman who is peaceful, a woman who is empathetic. So she's tapping into her emotionality and her emotional intelligence and also just being able to put herself in another person's shoes because she's not a man, yet she's able to empathize with the man that she deals with. And she also is able to recognize as a woman some of the issues that other women actually have. So essentially she's pointing those things out and she's showing that type of insight and that type of perspective and even intuition. Because ultimately, 
the world is going to beat up on men, specifically black men is what I'm talking about. So when that special woman comes out and she's able to recognize all the things that this man goes through on a daily basis, then ultimately by other women, she's seen as a pick me. Whereas from our end, we see this as somebody who is actually respectable, somebody who we could see as a wife, somebody who we want to actually be able to take care of and give the world to. Now, the thing is, is that a lot of women have that underlying jealousy because they wish that they were able to find a man who would take care of them and treat them in a certain way. That way they wouldn't have to be so rebellious, upset, pissed off and all this other stuff and then be jealous of other women who essentially got picked. Now, when it comes to the whole simping thing, the reason why it's worse, another reason why it's worse is because we as men are supposed to take the lead. We are supposed to set the standard. When you are simping, you're essentially allowing a woman to behave in a certain way and you are just defending her just because she's a woman. And a lot of times accountability is what is really needed and you're not giving it to her because essentially you're doing it because you either are one weak and don't know how to stand up to her or number two, you are you think that this is some way for you to get some vagina. And a lot of times women don't really respect a guy who is not going to basically have boundaries and hold her accountable when she does something that is out of place and out of pocket. And my personal belief is that that is the true definition of a simp, not just somebody who over caters to one women, but somebody who also over caters to women, even when they do something that is uh, that where, where they should have been held accountable for their actions. So I think that's the problem is that too many dudes are, are doing that and they're basically setting the tone. They're letting these women know that it is all right for them to act in this way and Anybody who criticizes them for their actions is somebody who hates them. They see criticism even when it's constructive as hatred, when really it's just accountability. So it's not like these dudes who are saying this are saying they hate you. They're saying that these are the things that are wrong with your behaviors and the ways that you, the way that they act, the way it affects you. They're, you're, you're bringing these things up and you are showing your concerns and they're seeing that as an attack. So what the simps do is they basically run counter to the dude who's given accountability and saying, you know, these are our women. We got to protect them and, you know, and, and all this other stuff just so that, you know, they can basically. Um, and like I said before, either get pussy or just coddle them despite their behavior. And so they're, again, curbing the ability for us to be able to give accountability, which is something that a lot of us are wired to do because we're logical beings. A lot of us are able to kind of look at kind of certain different situations and see what's wrong, see what's right. And then also we have the fortitude to be able to stand up for ourselves and say, hey, this is wrong and here's why it's wrong and pointing those things out. I'm not saying that women can't do that as well, too. I'm just saying it, we usually are the ones who are supposed to take the lead and take initiative to point out like the wrongdoings and to create levels of discipline for certain actions and, and behaviors. And so what Sims do is they destroy our ability to do that because they're running counter to something deceptively. So they're really being deceptive. And that's what I don't like about it. So essentially, I think a simp is worse because, again, we take the we're, we're supposed to take the lead. It's deceptive because there's another motive behind like the actual simping itself. And then on top of that, too, the other problem with it is that there isn't really an accountability factor behind these so-called pick me's because a lot of times pick me is just a term used by women because of the fact that they're jealous of that woman who's getting picked. But what I come to find out is that although there are a lot of women who cater to, uh, there are women who cater to us, those same women also, I've seen also, they hold us accountable as well too. They speak their minds. They just know how to do it in a constructive way and they know how to do it in a way that is peaceful and pleasant to us. They they don't, they don't spend time trying to basically put us down and make sure that they best us. They 
are able to give insight that allows us to think and they create a safe space where we're able to dialogue and talk about, um, you know, different things. So even if like we may have a decision made up or we may have done something, they can at least give us something to think about and consider on why um, the thing that we may have done, you know, maybe we could do it a little bit differently. They're peaceful and they're graceful with the way that they approach you. Whereas women, a lot of times who aren't on that wave, who are more on that rebellious wave, are there to try to tear you down at all costs and embarrass you and to do it at the expense of trying to be impressive and trying to garner attention. So essentially what I'm getting at here is uh, pick me is not as bad as a simp because a pick me just simply isn't bad. A simp is always bad. Anyway, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed what I had to say, and I'll definitely have more to come, so stay tuned. Other than that, I will talk to y'all later. Peace.